what's up, Baltimore? I'm Mark Clark, and this is Be More Lifestyle, live from Studio B at Fox Baltimore. Lady T is here with us, Hi. along with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax, and Power the P, Persian <laughs> of Cold from 92Q. What's up, ladies? What up? <laughs> hey, let me tell you right now. <laughs> embrace your laundry laziness. Wrinkled clothes are in. Yes, catwalk shows in Paris are showing the new trends of creases and wrinkles. Power of the P, will you rate, what do you think about this? You know, I, I don't like it. It makes me, like, cringe on the inside. I feel like Kanye West probably started this trend, and I hate him for that. I hate him for that. <laughs> Lady T, no. I know Big Mama always had us ironing our clothes. What do you All think about this? All the time. This? Let me tell you something. I am reclaiming my time. I'm so tired of having to iron, steam, and stretch out these wrinkles, so I am down for this, okay? I ain't even pressed my skirt today. Don't, don't, don't you put that camera down. <laughs> Put that camera and I'm looking at my skirt. But no, I'm definitely all for the wrinkled look. It does kind of look good. I, I actually kind of am digging oh. the look. I don't think it's a Kanye West thing because I actually like the look. So I don't think it's a Kanye West thing. Well, Jasmine, yeah. I've never seen it wrinkled, Jasmine. I've never seen it wrinkled. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like it. You know, I think if you walk outside in like a t-shirt, it's fine if that's wrinkled, but we wear dresses here all the time and I cannot mm -hmm. imagine going on air with like straight wrinkled dress. You just gotta try it. You just gotta either. take that. You gotta take that chance. It's a risk. You just gotta. <laughs> it's gotta not a risk for me. It's a fashion risk. <laughs> Lady T is Fashion wow. risk, darling. Okay, we want you to tell it. Are you embracing the wrinkled fashion trend? Vote on our website, foxbaltimore.com slash vote. When you get to the website, make sure you click on the Lifestyle tab. You can also vote on our Fox 45 News app. And at the end of the show, we'll find out what you're talking about. Who remembers starch? Anyway, just in time for the holidays, you can see a shortage in butter. What? Yes, the Department of Agriculture says butter sitting in U.S. storage facilities in August fell 10% month over month. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, butter prices rose 24 points. 6% in August compared with last year. Oh, Lord, what are we going to do? Whoa. What's going to happen with my, my cornbread? What's going to happen with my uh, corn pudding? <laughs> Ew, why are you eating corn pudding? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, Persia. <laughs> Persia, can you live without this butter? Uh, first of all, I'm with Lady T. Why are you eating that? Like, what yep. is going on? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Persia. <laughs> what? First of all, a corn pudding is a family recipe that's been passed down from generations from my yeah, pop Yeah, back in 1865. <laughs> that's yes, right. sir. It sure was. <laughs> it was. It was Senor Marco Clarco who passed it down. Forget <laughs> y'all. You Look, brought Jasmine, it over on a Nina Let me, let me go to Jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine, what do you think about this butter situation? Um, well, I am with the ladies. No to the corn pudding, but <laughs> butter. What? We cannot live without butter, so uh, I think both are problematic. Okay, Lady T, I'm not going to be dragged on my family I corn know, pudding. I know, it all turned into corn pudding, but no, um, <laughs> I definitely am devastated uh, by this butter shortage. Like, not oh devastated. my gosh, I don't even know, I was like, the first thing I thought of was I was like, dang, black people put butter in everything. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> we put it in our mac and cheese, our cornbread, we put it in uh, like literally every single thing, our vegetables, it's well, like hey. a, it's a drizzle for everything, so what are we going to do? we got to make well, it Well, the scratch. good news is the heart rates is going to increase. Okay, look, oh, one grandma Lord is Jesus. turning, <laughs> speaking of Big Mama, uh, <laughs> grandma is turning the uh, dishwasher on its head. Barbara Costello shared this video to TikTok and, and rattled off several tips. One of them was to lower your top rack. Okay, wait a minute now. now Grandma <laughs> getting freaky. This she said is lower that top rack, though. I don't know, Persia... <laughs> Do you know anything about this? I know nothing about what she's talking about. I do not mess with my dishwasher because I don't want to break it. What's your thoughts on this? Makes sense. Yeah, I was today years old when I learned that. Mm -hmm. I had no idea you could lower your top rack. I mean, the dishwasher, honey. I was going to um, say, I was going to say, come on, Persia. <laughs> I didn't know either. But, but no, no, no. I mean, I do the dishwasher all wrong anyway. I kind of throw it all in there oh, and yeah. then turn it on and then go. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you're that person. Okay, yeah. Lady T, please break it. Give us, give us some sense on the dishwasher, please. Okay, well, basically what I think is the best way to load a dishwasher is to not load it at all okay. and use plastic plates and paper and paper cups. That's I the best it. thing that you should do. <laughs> okay. I just think you should just not load it up, just let it just, you know, okay, sit fine. there. Okay, fine. At least it didn't include OnlyFans. Okay, okay. Uh, Jasmine, <laughs> as we wrap it up, Jasmine, your thoughts on the dishwasher? Yeah, my mm -hmm. mind was completely blown when I saw that video. I didn't know you could lower the top rack. And then she did something for the wine glasses to hold them in place, too. I've never seen that. Oh, I'm too scared they're gonna break. I saw that too. I was like, I'm too scared that the wine glasses are gonna break. So I was like, you know, I need my wine. I mean, wine glasses. I'm sorry. Whoa, I had flashbacks. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, look, <laughs> ladies, always amazing. Lady T returns with the hottest tea in the world coming up now.
Halloween is almost here, and 